Hey ladies, welcome, welcome, welcome. So first things first, I have been seeing a lot of your comments and it's honestly the reason why I'm back. So thank you so much for all the love and the support that you have been giving me throughout my time of absence. Wow, I'm just here to say I am back. And on that note, please do comment with like particular topics that you would me want me to cover, whether it be geography, grade 10, 11, 12, or life sciences, grade 10, 11, 12 as well. And yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get on to it. So the title of today, we will be working with synoptic weather maps. So yeah, I love synoptic weather maps because all the answers are on the map, like all of them. You just need to know how to interpret the map and you will literally get full marks. So yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so remember when I had mentioned that all the answers are on the map? While well, to be able to find the answers on the map, you need to know what the different symbols mean. So this image shows you all the various symbols that you can expect to find on a synoptic weather map. So I'll skip the weather ones because those are straightforward. But with cloud cover, as you can see, if it's an empty circle, the answer is none. So let's say the question says, what is the cloud cover in Durban? And you see that it's a circle that is not shaded, that's an empty circle, as none. Whereas on the other end, if it's a full circle and it's shaded and it's all black, it's 8 over 8, but the answer would be overcast. So yeah, it's overcast if it's that way, or half, or a quarter. But most of the time, they seldom ask the other ones from the questions i've seen it's usually half a quarter overcast none you know so they don't try and trick you too much there and then with wind speed they love this question i bet you they love this question so be able to understand that wind speed wind speed on the synoptic weather chart is depicted in knots so as you see here 10 knots is one one tail thing it's one little tail like thing on the line but then half a knot is half of that line and someone once asked me how can you tell if it's half or 10 i mean how how you can tell if it's five or ten the the line is far shorter than it would be if it would be a full one and then in terms of temperature maximum temperature will always be on the top and the minimum temperature will also be at the bottom but also you can kind of tell that okay the smallest temperature is the minimum so those are things that you can be asked you know like give the maximum temperature uh, at the weather station in durban then you'll say the maximum temperature is 17 degrees celsius the minimum temperature is five degrees celsius so that's an easy five marks most of the time oh and another thing that i almost forgot they will ask for the wind direction so how i used to do it when i was a student i used to take my pencil i used to take my ruler and i would draw over um the line from that circle that indicates the cloud cover so, so we draw that and then you also need to draw in your uh, northeast, southeast, and, and the likes. Basically, draw that, and then you'll be able to um, get the direction and get your marks. I know it's a bit more effort than all the other answers, but it's also not very difficult to get that. Okay, so now that you understand the symbology, let's go into the maps. So most of the time you will be shown either a summer map or a winter map and they will ask you what type of map is this based on what you can see on the map so you need to know what to look out for in a summer synoptic weather map and a winter synoptic weather map so we will start off with the summer synoptic weather map so with the summer synoptic weather map the high pressure cells are southwards and basically away from the land in South Africa. As you can see here, the high pressure cell is on um is below the land in South Africa. That tells you that that is a summer map. You'll see the difference when we get to a winter map. 
And then another thing is that the South Indian high pressure cell is on the west coast of the country. So that's another clue or that's another that's another piece of evidence that tells you that it is a summer synoptic weather map. And then low pressure cells, they are like all over the interior. So that's another piece of evidence that you will know that, oh, okay, this is a summer synoptic weather map. And then temperatures. That's actually the easiest, but sometimes you cannot see the the temperatures. That's why I started off with the high and low pressure cells. So obviously a dead giveaway is temperatures. In South Africa in summer, temperatures are generally between the 20s or high 30s, low 30s. So basically those those temperatures. Generally you won't find temperatures below 10 degrees but there's always an exception to this thing but generally the temperatures are higher so that's how you'll know that this is a summer synoptic weather map and then in certain cases um you will find a tropical cyclone uh either somewhere in mozambique or in mauritius yeah so along though along those parts sometimes you will see a tropical cyclone that's a dead giveaway that it is a summer um, synoptic weather map. And then sometimes they'll be kind enough to include the date. That's obviously the easiest. In South Africa, you know that we experience summer from December, January, February. So if the date indicates any of those months, you know that it is a summer um, synoptic weather map. And then, you know, sometimes you don't have all these, cl all these clues. So for more intricate pieces of evidence you can always look for you can always look in the western cape if all else fails in the western cape your cape town you'll see dry conditions you know so that's also an indication of um, summer and that can be indicated by no cloud cover yeah that's that that could also be but that's a bit more that's if all else fails <laughs> And then another piece of evidence that you can look at is the fact that mid-latitude cyclones will be to the south of the country, south of the land, basically, in South Africa. Then you know for sure that that is a summer map. So, as I said, guys, all the answers are on the map. You just need to know what to look for. Okay, now, how do you know if it's a winter synoptic weather map? So, remember in summer, the high pressure cells were away from the coast. They were southwards. Now, um, in winter, they shift upwards. So, you will find them on the, over the interior of the country. And more specifically, the Kalahari high pressure cell will be over the interior of the, count, of the country. So, that way, you will know that this is a winter synoptic weather map. Okay, and then another thing that you need to look for is that the cold fronts are closer to the continent, to the land. So in summer, for example, the mid-latitude cyclones were further away, but now you have more cold fronts or more mid-latitude cyclones that are closer to the land. So that tells you that that is a winter map. And then temperatures are typically between 10s 20s but there are obviously several times where you'll find temperatures below 10 anything in the negative then you know that that is a winter map but in comparison to summer you won't really see a lot of temperatures in the 30s it does happen there's always exceptions but yeah that's also another piece of evidence that you can cite that this is a winter map and then you typically see dry conditions with little cloud cover and this is particularly in the interior of the country where for example the Kalahari high pressure cell will occur so you'll mostly see that the circles are not covered the, the you know they're not full so that indicates that there is very little to no cloud cover then you know that that is a winter map and then another thing that you can look for is that there's often rain in the western um cape 
if it's not rain, the cloud cover is typically overcast and that's in winter. Whereas other parts of the country have no no cover or very little cloud cover. So those are some of the evidence that's some of the evidence that you can cite or state when asked why it's a summer or a winter synoptic weather map. And okay, so the question says study figure two showing a southern African synoptic weather map and answer the questions that follow. Question one. Name each of the high pressure systems A and B. Although we didn't cover it in this lesson, but you have been taught this. So A is the South Indian high pressure cell, and B is the South Atlantic high pressure cell. Okay, so if you were wondering how I got that answer without even, I know that the Indian Ocean is on the eastern part of the country and the atlantic ocean is on the western part of the country so that's how i remember it yeah okay so the next question says what season does this synoptic weather map represent um just look at your clues first and there's a big giveaway there's a big giveaway so i will say winter and I'll answer why in, in the next question. So this is a winter synoptic weather map. The biggest reason, so now we're already doing the next question, because they say give three reasons. The biggest reason is that mid-latitude cyclone that is basically approaching South Africa. You know, that's the biggest reason. In summer, mid-latitude cyclones are more south and they don't really affect South Africa. So that's how you know that this is a winter map one re reason the second reason is that the temperatures are generally low for example in bloemfontein temperatures of 19 the maximum and minus six you know you've got 17 and minus four so the temperatures are generally low that is the second reason and then the third reason is that generally over the interior of the country there is no cloud cover so that would be another reason and then if they had asked you for example for five reasons you can say that the high pressure cells are closer so in this specific map they're not entirely over the interior of south africa but the fact that you can see them on the map is already a a good sign that this is a winter map and yeah so those are just some of the reasons that you can give it would have been nice if they would have given us a date you know so we can just throw that in but we were able to answer and give out our three reasons so the next question says refer to the station model of port elizabeth when answering the questions that follow question one describe the weather that is currently being experienced in port elizabeth first things first Maximum temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Minimum temperature is minus 3 degrees Celsius. Cloud cover, it's clear or none. And then wind speed, 10 knots. And then wind direction. So remember to draw your imaginary axis. And by look of things, it would be north. Yeah, north, northwest. North, northwest. So that is the wind direction. Um, am I missing anything? No, we have covered basically the weather in Port Elizabeth. And just like that, it's a wrap for today's video. So yeah, just getting into the swing of things. So a lot of changes that are going to be made in terms of the channel. So yeah, do stay tuned and I look forward to being on this journey with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.